this is the start of your second week of maths. This is your first lesson and we're going to be looking today at number bonds to 100. Okay, there is a number square. You're all very familiar with those. I want you to think how many more would you need to add to get to 100 from 36? So have a look at 36 on your 100 square and how many more tens and then how many more ones are you going to need to add until you get to 100? You could first of all start off by going down the columns. Put your finger on 36. You can go down 46, 56, 66, 76, 86, 96. How many tens have you gone down there? And then see how many ones across you need to go till you get to 100. Did you say 64? If you did, you got it right. Well done. Can you see all of those numbers are coloured in a pinky red colour now? Those are the numbers that show 64. Let's have a look at another number. 52. Can you find 52 on your 100 square? Again, have a look. You can go down the tens and across for the ones to see how many more you need to get. Have a couple of seconds to think, have a count. Forty-eight. Can you see those four tens going down the columns and the eight ones going across? Now, 47. If you need to, pause it and you can have a little count. It's 53 until you get to 100. Now, 73. Find your finger all the way down to the 73. Do your tens going down and then your ones going across. 27. If you said that, you got it right. Well done. 89. Hmm, I think I'll give you less time to work this one out. It's 11. Of course it is. And four. Ooh. This is either going to be very, very tricky or really easy. Have a go. Pause it if you need to. 96. That is a big addition. OK, <clears throat> this is part of your activity now. You can download one of these problem cards and you can have a look at some different sheets and looking at different numbers, count up how many more you would need to make 100. And you can use that 100 that square there to help you. So just like the activity we've just looked at on the board together, this is what you can have a go at at home. You don't have to download the sheet. You can always use your 100 square mini whiteboard that you've got at home as well. Now, see if you can answer these questions. To complete the number sentence, I need to add a number greater than 60. The question says 46 add something equals 100. Hmm, use your number bonds to 100 to think about that. 46, and he thinks that he's going to need a number greater than 60. Do you agree with Ben? Can you explain why? Pause it if you need to, see if you can explain it to a grown up or you can write something on your whiteboard. Okay. Ben is actually wrong. The number that he needs to add to make 100 is 54. And as we know, 54 is less than 60. It's not greater. We've got another one here. I added 37 to a number to make 100. What number did I start with? Explain how you know and represent this as a number sentence. You can pause it now and explain it to a grown up or you can write it on your whiteboard. Have a go at writing this as a number sentence. OK, Chase started with the number 63 and we know this because 63 at 37 is 100. Now, for these kinds of questions, it's quite useful to count back. Now we're going to be using your knowledge of number bonds to calculate how many more needs to be added to make 100. You could use your 100 square for this, 
your whiteboard one that you've got at home or you can print it off. I've got both here. I'm going to use this one just so that I can write on it in a really bright colour to show you. OK, now what you can do is you can either print out the worksheet, which has got the number cards on, or you can just have a look at them on the screen and then choose a number. OK, we're going to start off with this one first. 22. How many more would you need to add to get from to get to 100 from 22? I'm going to pop that there. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find 22 on my number square. Now, I know it's going to be quite near the top and it ends in a two. So 22, I'm going to do a big circle around that one. Now, I know that I need to get to 100, which is quite a long way away for number 22. So let's have a look. I know that it's going to be going down here in tens. OK, so let's go down. How many tens have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens. OK, now let's see how many ones we need to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Let's count those again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight ones. OK, let's put that number together. Seven tens and eight ones. Seventy-eight. OK, so we could say 22 add 78 equals 100. 100 equals 22 add 78. OK, it's very, very simple. Let's have a look at number 79 now and let's see if we can do that one a little bit more quickly. 79. Let's have a look, see if we can find it on our number square. It ends in a 9. We're right the way down here this time. This should be a nice speedy one. OK, how many tens do we need to go? One, two. Two tens. How many ones? That was easy, wasn't it? Just one. OK, that equals... 21. So 79 add 21 equals 100. 100 equals 79 add 21. See, this is very, very simple. I know that you can all do this. Let's have a look at a number square here. You can do it in exactly the same way. You can use a whiteboard pen and you can Choose your number, like 66 that we've got here. You can count down in tens. One, two, three, three tens. One, two, three, four, four ones. Three tens, four ones, 34. OK, and then you can write your number sentence as well. Good luck. I hope you get on really, really well with this one.